Hello and welcome to another installment of Call Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Today I'm going to be taking apart the laser assembly on a DVD player. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. This is a Wharfdale um, DVD 3210 HDMI DVD player which we bought in about four months after we got it. It stopped working. And you know why? Because it's cheap Chinese crap, that's why. So it doesn't work anymore, might as well make some use out of it. Firstly, we've got to get some parts off. As we need to get this drive out. Okay, that should just come off. There we go. And now we can see the laser assembly thing right here. Should just be able to push this along. Yep. Doesn't matter if I break it because it's broken anyway. Got the lens and under there where the actual laser is. That's the part I want to get at. So let's take this front bit off now. Which is just held on by these clips here. Clips here that do not want to let go, of course. Alright, there we go. Oh, I see why that wasn't coming off. There's a wire holding it in. Oh, well, let's just get rid of that then. Actually, let's just unclip all these wires because we're not going to be needing them. Get rid of this bit. Oh, what they stuck this on with? Right, get rid of that bit. We don't need this bit. There's a wire. The cat's making a noise. I don't know if you heard that. Anyway, back to business. Right, got to take this bit out now, somehow. Just try to find the screws that it's held in with. Right. You may be able to see that I've already taken the power supply out of this because I've been harvesting this for bits and pieces. Right, now we should be able to take this bit out. And there it goes, holding on for some reason. Oh, they've used this super glue tape again. There we are, and this is the butt, the underside of the thing. So, we've got one motor here that does this draw, which I um, don't know how it unlocks, but this is the motor here that turns the, this motor here is the one that turns the disc, and we've got one here that moves the laser assembly along so it can read the disc. Anyway, I'm going to take this bit out because this is the bit I'm interested in. Yep, that just comes out. Okay, we can get rid of all that now. And this is what we're left with. Now, there seems to be some kind of a sticker on the back of this. So I'm just going to try to take that off. It's not a sticker, it's a piece of metal. Alright then. Let's take this off. Now we can take a look. Let's take a closer look at the... This little thing. Right, so this is the laser assembly with the metal bit taken off. Now, I think this bit right here is the laser diode. I can also see some mirrors here. I think they're semi-sealed mirrors. 
So we're going to take them out and have a closer look at them later on. Now, I'm going to try to take this laser diode out. I think I'll have to turn this around to get these screws out that hold the rail, the guide rail in. Well, I've loosened a whole bunch of screws now and, well, taken out a whole bunch of screws so we can get this bit out. And there we go. And discard of that. There's some motors in there I'm going to keep. And this is what we're left with, the actual laser pickup. So, this is the close-up view of the laser pickup. This is the bottom end. And this is the top end. As you can see. Those semi-silvered mirrors seem to be pretty interesting. They seem to have a... I don't know if you can see that, but they seem to reflect some blue light for some reason. I know this is not a Blu-ray disc player. Anyway, I'm going to try and get out that laser diode. So, let's take this little thing apart. There's a screw here. It's about the only one that I haven't undone yet. There's a thing here on a bit of a circuit board. I think that's probably the sensor. I'm just going to try and pry that off, see if I can get a look at it. Yes, there's some little, little sensor there. Now, why can't I get this out? I've undone the screws, and it does not seem to want to come out. I'll just jam a screwdriver in there and try to... There. Yes, there is our laser diode, if you can see that. That's the tiny little... That tiny little thing right there. I've no idea what the connections are. Still got the lens right there. I've actually had a look through that, and it's a very pretty powerful lens, actually. You can see things really big through it. So let's just pry that bit off. It's connected in with a circuit board. I'll just undo this screw. So this is the laser diode and the sensor and the lens and the circuit board. And of course the little electromagnets that move the lens. And we're left with this plastic bit here which has got what looks like another lens on it. A sort of blue tinted lens and a couple of semi-silvered mirrors. Let's see if I can take them out without breaking them. No, they're glued in, aren't they? What about that lens then? Can I get that out? Yeah, that's that lens. It's just made out of plastic, that's all it is. I don't quite know how it reflects all that blueness, but as I'm looking through it right now, and it's perfectly clear. So that's an odd thing. I'm not going to be able to get those mirrors out. Unless, of course, I can just... Oh, yes. This one's coming out and gone flying across the place. There's one of them. One of the mirrors. Semi-silvered mirrors. Anyway, that's what's inside a laser CD laser. Now I'm going to try and see if I can power up this laser diode and get a beam out of it. Well I don't know I've connected a battery across every single pin combination I can think of and I haven't got any laser light to come out of that thing so who knows maybe that's what was wrong with it but anyway until next time goodbye. Next time on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop Clem will be fixing the power supply in his computer. That's next time on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop.